So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here. Well, today I want to show you uh, a little bit, not only those paramecia, but I would like to also explain to you the problem that they have. Uh, because uh, while they are able to reproduce very quickly by cell division, this is a problem in some cases, okay? And I would like to explain to you what the problem is and how they're able to overcome this. Well, let's start at the very beginning. And uh, what I would like to show you here is, is a dividing cell, a dividing paramecium here. You can see that... Uh, yeah, they're still connected so that the cell division process has not uh, completed yet. This takes a couple of hours. Um, I was kind of following it along for a few hours, maybe no, a few, not a few hours, maybe an hour and a half or two hours. Um, and uh, slowly they started to separate more and more. Um, and uh, at the end, uh, they were only connected very lightly over the tiny little hair, the cilia. And then uh, yeah, uh, after a couple of more minutes, uh, they basically were able to completely part ways and, uh, and the whole cycle repeats. Uh, the cell starts starts to grow again, uh, the DNA, the genetic information is copied and, and, and then the cell is able to, each one of the cells is able to divide again. You know, so basically this way, within a very short time, within let's say, I don't know, maybe a, two or three days, you're able to form this way a couple of, um, I would say um, hundreds, if not thousands or even ten thousands of new cells, because what you've got is you've got exponential reproduction. And out of one, two, four, eight, sixteen, it always doubles every generation. Um, and so while not a lot seems to be happening, at the beginning, um, yeah, after some time, um, the numbers really start exploding. This doesn't uh, go on indefinitely, obviously, because sooner or later uh, they're running out of food and there are limited resources available. But generally, they are able to reproduce very quickly um, within a, a short time. And uh, this um, basically results in, in uh, yeah, a lot of these cells uh, yeah, accumulating uh, in, in your water sample. However, there is also a problem with that. And the problem is, is that they are genetically the same. Um, especially when they come from the same cell, um, then the same cell divides over and over again, so their DNA, DNA is pretty much always the same. And this is a problem, because while they might be optimized to survive a certain condition, let's say certain oxygen conditions or temperature conditions or whatever, um, as soon as these conditions change, all of them are going to have a problem, right? Because uh, they're not able, as a species, um, able to flexibly adapt to a changing environment. So having uh, too many individuals that are too similar is indeed um, a, a problem. They might be very well adapted for the current situation, for the current conditions rather, um, but as soon as those conditions change, uh, they have a problem, right? Um, so they, these uh, microorganisms have a mechanism um, indeed of ensuring that their DNA is always um, yeah, changed, exchanged, refreshed, uh, modified, and so on. And this is something that I would like uh, to show you how they do that. And in order to show this to you, I want to show you this uh, here. This is, uh, this is also something that I found. Uh, I added now a substance called methyl cellulose to slow down their movement a little bit. But there is one, um, yeah, there's, there are some individuals over here that are a little bit um, interesting. Maybe you have already seen them. Maybe you have seen them that the uh, two of them actually started uh, to pair up. You see those here, right? You see the two of them together, right? And, and they're not dividing because uh, the yeah they're in parallel here. They're aligned yeah, lengthwise and they're also, also fully grown already. Um, and what they're doing is they're conjugating. Yeah? Um, so it uh, happens quite frequently that uh, cells, uh, when uh, there are many of them around, uh, they will start to, to line up this way and they will start to fuse together um, to exchange DNA. Yeah? So this is essentially their method of overcoming uh, the problem of uh, having uh, DNA that is always uh, too similar, right? Um, so I would like to um, zoom in a little bit here to show you um, actually what's going on. I, um, yeah, um, a little bit larger over here. You see it's kind of bumping now into this algae over here, then it's reversing the direction. <laughs> yeah, uh, But uh, during a conjugation process, uh, two uh, cells will start to align uh, with each other. Their cytoplasm fuses together. Um, the membranes uh, basically make a, a bridge. The membranes fuse, and the cytoplasm then uh, um, is, uh, allows uh, to them to uh, to come together, um, and then they will start to exchange DNA. Yeah? And I would like to um, yeah simply show this to you now a little bit of how this actually uh, where this takes place. I'm going to pause the video here. 
Okay, and um, over here with the arrow, um, yeah, they, they form a so-called a, a cytoplasm bridge uh, between the two cells, and each cell has a nucleus. Uh, the main nucleus is called the macronucleus, which is important for controlling all of the cellular functions, um, but um, they also have so-called micronuclei, and the, they're, yeah, as the name implies, they're much smaller, and each one of them has two of these micronuclei. Um, next to the macronucleus. And one um, of the micronuclei, is, uh, each is exchanged. So uh, this uh, cell over here um, passes one micronucleus over to the other cell and vice versa. Yeah? So, um, and those micronuclei, after they have been exchanged, they will fuse together with the existing micronucleus that uh, did not was not passed over to the other cell. Yeah? And uh, so this is actually a little bit similar to a fertilization process. Yeah? And uh, the micronuclei will then fuse together and make uh, then a new macronucleus. It's a little bit simplified because the number of divisions that take place, nuclear divisions take place, are quite a, quite a few of them. Um, but in general, um, the idea is, is that uh, ultimately the two micronuclei fuse and they will replace the, the macronucleus again. Yeah? And this ensures that uh, they're, um, they're, they're able to yeah, ultimately change their DNA around this way. Yeah? And by doing that, uh, the, the cells uh, ensure that there is always a, a, um, yeah, a certain genetic flexibility there um, and uh, to ensure that the cells genetically do not become too similar. And this will happen between so-called different mating uh, types uh, because they are, um, if they're genetically too similar, uh, then they're not going to exchange DNA with each other. So there is even a mechanism here to ensure that uh, DNA is exchanged between those cells that are of different mating types. And so this is something that is uh, quite fascinating and uh, um, something that uh, can be found actually in, in, in several uh, or many uh, protozoans. Um, so if, uh, and even in bacteria, by the way, yeah? um, even they need a, a mechanism of, of uh, exchanging DNA. It's called horizontal gene transfer um, to ensure that uh, there is enough uh, genetic diversity within within the species. Otherwise, uh, there is indeed the danger that if the conditions change, uh, then um, yeah, all of them are disadvantaged because uh, they're uh, they're optimized for different environmental uh, conditions, right? Um, I also kind of like this uh, one over here. You can actually see that the, the individual cilia beating, yeah, and the for me, it's always a little bit surprising is how coordinated they're moving because even though um, they're fused together, they're moving like one single organism. So even their movement has to be synchronized. Yeah? And then after uh, some time, what's going to happen is, is that they're going to separate again and they're going to again um, yeah, go their own paths and then they can simply reproduce again uh, by cell division. And what we have here is, is uh, yeah, a separation between actually reproduction yeah, uh, which is done by cell division, um, and also a DNA exchange. Yeah? So this is uh, different than us human beings where um, essentially reproduction and the mixing of DNA during fertilization in, is actually combined. But here uh, with those protozoans, it's actually these are different processes. Yeah? A cell division uh, by mitosis and uh, conjugation um, is uh, are actually two separate uh, separate things here. Well, I just uh, thought that, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share this uh, with you. Um, yeah, those uh, little uh, cells can be quite uh, fascinating to observe as well. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.